Hey, what's up tech fans, Elric here. Now we all know that VR is becoming total reality. VR of yesterday was the imagination, but now it's becoming the thing of today. And we're gonna be building a totally virtual reality based system, working with the people over at AMD, Corsair, and a few others. And uh, right now, you guys can see, I got the four cards in. The nanos have arrived, quad nanos. And to power this badass VR system, which we're gonna be calling the AVR Nexus, uh, it's gonna be badass. We have a totally custom built 900D being made for us, and I've got this AX1500i that's going to be powering the whole thing. So let's talk about what's inside this and how this power supply is something uh, that's for the badass, not the meek. Let's go. All right, folks, so any good unboxing and first look, obviously you want to see what the box you're getting it in. So the front of the box is this, and inside are all the cool facts, and you can even see how they have a mocked up edition of seeing inside of the PSU, so you can see what the guts are. Yeah. We'll go ahead and just drop that down. On the side is basically just, once again, the name of the product. And both sides are exactly the same. Nothing special about those. And then on the back, it just tells you a little bit about their Link software and stuff like that, and their power curve and that stuff. But you guys want to actually see what's in this box. So I'm going to go ahead and just pop the cap here. I'm going to go ahead and just rough and tumble this out of here because, uh, well, there's still something in the way there. One flap was not open all the way, but there we go. Giant way to come out of there. So we'll get the box out of the way off to the side. And it also says in the back that it's completely recyclable. So for those people who are into green stuff, I know I like the planet. I don't want to go anywhere, so recycling is good, and it's cool that they have that there. And then their logo, a little made in China thing, and I'll just go ahead and uh, somehow pop this open. All right, guys, now I got me a knife. This is the old SWAT knife. Those, you know, special weapons and tactics. Clip that little sucker out there. Take a quick carb and throw it at you, oh. the audience. Oh my God, I think I stuck you in the eye. So we'll just pop the cap now if we get the thing there. And then we have all the accessories. Power supply should be back here in a nice bag. So let's just start out by uh, taking everything out and then we'll discuss it all. So there's a nice big giant bag right here. This is going to contain all of your cables and all the other stuff. They usually have stuff for mounting up for cable management. Once again, that's included. And then last but not least, let me get this out. Pop, the pop. There's the giant bag with the PSU in it. All the warranty information all that good stuff and then last but not least the giant power cable and you guys can see because this thing is so huge it doesn't take a standard power cable it takes a different type altogether for a high voltage where should we even start i guess we can just set up uh, showing you guys all this stuff for those who care about it this is pretty much everything in one single shot that uh comes inside of the box other than my nifty knife you don't get that sorry so inside the black bag, we're going to see the power supply itself. Just pop that out, take it out. Now some cool things about this power supply is it has a seven year warranty. So that's pretty awesome. Seven years is quite a long time in the PC world. You used to be changing your system out long before that. So let's just continue getting all this stuff out of here. And we'll take it out, ba boom. And where do we start? Okay, well I was wrong. This one uh, does have a power switch right here on the back along with we plug the cable in. You can notice that this power supply is very, very thin also. So it'll fit in a lot of different types of system. The height on this is much lower than your standard power supply. Right here we have the side, we have the name. This power supply is also completely modular. Features their digital link software, which you can use inside the Windows environment and monitor all of the stuff that you're doing, which is pretty cool. Only works with a couple series, those the AX and the HX. So you got to make sure if you want to use that, you get the type of power supply. And here on the bottom, we see the fan. Now, one thing about this fan is it runs very, very quietly. Offers low RPMs, but still does great cooling on it. It's one of the features about it. And on this side, you guys can see it just shows a different model number. This is probably the model number that is related to it. It's made in China. And then last but not least, 
We have the back where all the cables and everything hooks up. Now all these cables are completely flat and they're meant to be used in you know great systems where you're gonna do a lot of cable management and they're geared for that and that's the next thing we're gonna be checking out. So we'll get past that. Okay, now the AX1500i comes with a little cable box, but this thing has a fracking huge amount of cables because it's made for putting, you know, four video cards in your system, whether it be SLI or Crossfire. So there's going to be a lot of cables, and uh, let's see what they are. The AX1500i comes with a single 24 pin cable, two 8 pin cables, 10 6 pin cables, 20 SATA cables, 12 4 pin cables. And for your old schoolers, there's even two floppy cables. That's right. No zip cable. If you know what I'm talking about, you're showing your age. Or am I showing my age? Something like that. Anyways, last up, you get the USB comm cable. Now, this is something interesting. On the back of the PSU where all the cables plug in, you get a comm port, but you also get a self-test button. So you can actually test the power supply and make sure it's fully functioning before you really do anything with it. And so that's a pretty cool feature. You guys see all the cables that we talk about, they all connect back here. And the feature I was talking about is these cables are all very, very flat. So if you're trying to do cable management and keep them all you know, nice and clean inside a system, you want cables like this. Some people are gonna use all braided cables. So if you're gonna spend even more money and do that, you can do that as well. But I gotta say, these are a pretty nice start. So there you guys have it. Now the only caveat is for some people, I guess, is going to be the price. This particular power supply, depending on where you buy it, can go anywhere from 350 bucks all the way up to 440 bucks. You gotta look around. We'll have a link down below. I think this particular one is like 390 bucks for our link. But if you look around all over the place, you might be able to find it a little bit cheaper. But if you want something that's basically just really solid, rugged, and obviously, you know, Titanium's as high as you're gonna go. Unless you're gonna go and rip off Wolverine and get his power supply, you're not gonna have an adamantium rated power supply. And I know there's some people out there going to do these crazy tests, but I wanna tell you something. When these guys certify this stuff, they have such expensive equipment on their end to test it to even get this certification that to run like tests on it and everything would just be completely crazy. When you put it inside your system, you hear it's quiet, it runs absolutely great, and it runs for a long time. That's a sign of a great power supply. And using their software, when you're inside of the Windows environment, which is pretty cool. You guys can monitor all kinds of different stuff about the power supply. You can monitor what's going on with the heat, change the fan, all that other good stuff. And if you want something for free to monitor everything in your system, you guys should check out CAM because we've been showing that quite a bit and using it. And it's actually pretty cool, completely free software that we'll have a link to at the end. But at the end of the day, like I said, this power supply is slightly a little bit pricey, but is it really pricey? I mean, if you're gonna be putting in four video cards, that could cost you up to what? Like say, you know, $1,500, $2,000, depending on what card you're using. I mean, there are cards out there for people who are doing giant workstations and they want something that's going to work. So I'm going to put my faith in this one and uh, hopefully this new system is going to be really badass. The AVR Nexus will be bad. Freaking ass, all the parts are so... F I definitely probably won't go blah, blah, blah money-wise because as far as money-wise goes, this system's gonna be filthy expensive. Like usual, pricing available will be down there, like I said, below that like button. You guys know what to do. I'm Elric, you guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow, and there's all kinds of cool stuff coming up in the next week and after next week, and there's gonna be even more crazy stuff. Some of you people out there know what I'm talking about, but uh, exciting stuff around the corner. See ya.